reconcile with Anderson. Gotta look both ways before you cross, man. I don't want to interrupt the man while he's going for a bet, but. That shit had to be gave me sitting back in each way just for it. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. What is your problem? <laughs> don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. <sighs> Apologize for behavior, partners, review facts. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. <laughs> yeah, it's cyber life thought everything, huh? Here you go. Why am I scanning this? Okay. Excel soda. Man, mind if I have some of your tasty beverage to wash this down? Pineapple passion sounds nice. Ah, oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Yes, sir, dude. See? Gambling, cholesterol, habit, enjoy your meal. I'm going to ask about the habit. Do you eat here often? Most days. Gary makes the best burger in Detroit. Free meal. You didn't pay for your meal. Gary's a friend. I scratch his back, he scratches mine. Hank and Androids about Connor. This morning. When we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling <laughs> out paperwork for damaged equipment. There it is. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Oh boy, I bet he does. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? Mm -hmm. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? Uh... I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. 
I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. <laughs> so what's your conclusion? <laughs> Sincere psychological cold. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But, but adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your reel. I'll be in the car if you need me. Hank loves it. You know Hank loves it. I really hope he turns out to be a fucking good guy in the end. Like, he seems it. Hey, Connor. Really, like, when you go deep Run down out to out of batteries it, or what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. You gotta, you gotta love, like, the... The kind of typical what do we know about this guy? grumpy detective. Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears... Yeah, I had to interrupt him. I wasn't going to do that, but... It's a strange noise. We're going to need more cops. Yeah, I didn't want to cut off his dialogue, so I just gonna I was gonna proceed, but Hey, were quick. you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. <laughs> True. Knock knock. Hmm. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit Police! Stay behind me. Got it. They don't give him a gun. Alright, better not get Hank killed here. Fucking hell. Hank's gotta live. He's gonna be a hero. He's gonna be that grumpy, lost little detective that, that actually ends up being a hero in the end. I just wanna see if there's any further clues here, quickly. It always tends to help with questioning. We've got some more symbols and shit here. Well, I've got a little bit of time to read magazines, so it's all good. Red Ice Epidemic, so it's coming back. NATO Security Council divide over Arctic dispute. UN warns of World War Three. Yeah, okay, we already know. Ah, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. This is important. Um, analysts have pointed to Detroit's status as the epicenter of Android production, suggesting the drug flourishes in the dissatisfaction caused by Android saving human jobs. Uh, as CyberLife's Android spread across the country, they, bring, they will bring red ice with them. Poor men and women desperate to make ends meet are vulnerable to become users or even dealers. Not only is the popularity of this drug spreading rapidly, but its chemical composition is uniquely dangerous. Therium, the main ingredient in Android Blue Blood, is among the active ingredients in Red Ice and has a highly destabilizing effect on, hum on hormone production. I didn't know that. That's interesting. The purity of the ingredients is very, very low and deteriorating. Red Ice dealers are reported to have an unofficial motto. Where the blood is blue, the ice is red and the money is green. I wonder if they can kill androids to harvest it. Is that what's going on? But yeah, bad environment, tool shit happening. I'm not going to read all of that, but we get it. Okay. Interesting. Sorry, yeah. Uh, right, let's head in. See how we do. What the fuck is this? Right, investigate the apartment. Confirm suspect is a deviant. Find cause of loud, loud noise. Ugh. Jesus, this place stinks. Military jacket. Initials RT. RT. Probably initials. 
put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Uh... Got a full name here? Rupert Travis. Full the driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Um, with those ones, it's not giving me much time to, to look at that stuff. I can't look at it for as long as I'd like. So I think it's challenging you now to, to be quick. Yeah, okay, so wild animals, okay. So you get like a very, very finite amount of time with these things. Suspect doesn't eat. Ah. Well. That's android behavior. Suspect doesn't shit. Is probably what's coming out. <laughs> Sample. You. Mmm, there's blue blood. A model reported missing a long time ago. Again, I, you don't get to read all the information very... Okay, deactivated very recently. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Yeah, okay. Rag9 again? Sorry, not Rag9. RA9. It's our old friend. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Obsessive compulsive writing. Yes, indeed. They try to hang themselves. Um, traces of avian fecal matter recently disturbed. It's a bit here that was no. Come on, man! How hard can it be? It's not letting me find anything else. Which is weird. Oh. oh, okay, they've started to not show you certain things. Oh, wait, no. Right, there we go. Opened marker pen. Still wet, used recently. Midnight mood, black. Okay. Suspect was recently here. Yeah, okay. Oh, that. Okay. Suspect ran to the living room. Hmm, okay. Cool. Ah, Jesus, I hate these things! Calm down, dude. Right, we've got a few more little things to look at here before we see more. Fingerprints. Wait. Fingerprints recent. Hold on. If there's fingerprints... Do androids have fingerprints? I don't think they do, right? Wasn't that a thing? Skid mark, recent. Traces of galvanized steel. So it fell. Metal hook, recently broken. Yeah, they smacked into it, I guess, as they are running out or something. Suspect ran towards entrance.
suspect heard us enter. Suspect is still here. It's the attic again. Fucking hell. Why does everyone end up in the attic? Right, music's ramping. I just want to quickly check these two out as well before I do anything else. They're not going to go anywhere. Urban farm poster. Fields in the heart of the city. Recently moved. Ah, okay. Real books. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. Electronic books, you can't smell the paper. See the pages turning yellow. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Whoa. This guy's lost it. Found something? I'm nearly there, just one more. I don't know. No, I was going to examine the thing on the wall. Ah! Goddamn fucking pigeons! Shit. What are you waiting for? Chase it! Here we go. Go, boy. Go fast and risky. Nice. I'm going to detour this one. Shit. Whoa. No. Right, I've got to go for the fast one. Very close now. Wow. Holy shit. This is an Android chase, buddy. I feel like I'm not getting any closer. Come on. Ah. It's the first one I've missed. Yeah, that all happened too quickly. Damn, son. I think I'm done. Oh. Oh, fuck. Chance of survival, 89%. Gotta save Hank. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We had it. Fuck. It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Yeah, I had to save my boy Hank. Hey, Connor. Thanks. Nothing. <laughs> we'll get there, Hank. We'll get there. We'll be besties.
That was good. I feel like there must have been an alternative where you catch him. Near the end, it does get difficult. Uh, I made most of the prompts, but Rupert got away. Damn it. I think... Well, there you go. Hold on. Um, Rupert pushes Hank. If you don't save Hank, then you get Rupert, but you fuck up with Hank. I feel like keeping Hank on board is a good idea. Chance of survival was 89%. So Hank could get killed, man. <laughs> I was not going to have that. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap up this session here. It's been a good one. I'm really enjoying the game so far. I think it's more dynamic than uh, than Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain was, was kind of more slow paced. It was very, I don't know, it felt kind of slower paced and less intense for the most part. I feel like I'm enjoying this one a little bit more. So going well so far. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. I will see you guys with more of this very soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.